guys marty schwartz here with marty music thank you for supporting me right here at my own project not quite two years we're working on it and i just want to thank you guys again it's a gear thursday video and in this video i was thinking about another little gear related technique that i haven't talked about and that's using uh like a subtle delay not like u2 the edge delay but like a uh, almost like a delay instead of reverb now you can use this kind of delay that I'm referring to, and I'm gonna show it to you, but you can use it with reverb as well, but it's also uh, serves in that same function. So sometimes I've seen guys where maybe the reverb broke on their amp or you know they forgot their reverb pedal, but they have delay, they can add that roundness um, and that kind of uh, more breathing kind of vibe to the notes, it adds life um, and kind of softens it it just feels better. And so I'm gonna take this basic reverb pedal and just show you a technique. It works great with lead guitar. So it's kind of like a secret weapon of a lot of famous guitar players. This is kind of light delay. And so instead of using a fancy expensive delay, I decided to go here, oh, cable's covering it, to this uh, great delay pedal. A lot of guys use them, but just basic. It's the stomp pedal here, it's the Boss uh, DD3 Digital Delay. I have it set up a certain way, but what I think I wanna do is, uh, we're gonna talk about the concept. So, uh, that was my overdrive. So, I'm gonna turn everything down. That, that's as far as that, that's mode. But basically you've got the mix, you've got feedback, which is uh, the amount of repeats and then you have D time, delay time. How far, how long is it uh, before it starts to repeat once you strike a note? And so that's delay time. These are different modes. You know, it's basically different timing. So actually I'm gonna go, just go right to the middle on that. Now I'm gonna play a note here and you'll hear nothing, right? I mean, you'll hear no delay. So we need the mix. So that first is, is called a slapback. That's where you, it, do, it doesn't even sound like an echo almost because the delay time's happening so close to the note. And so that can be used in uh, uh, some rockabilly sometimes. What I want is I want like a one and a half repeats, one and a half meaning on that second repeat, you're almost not hearing it, it's fading back. And I want it to just kind of feel, you know, I can almost use my instincts of when I'm in a, uh, you know, rock stadium or in a garage, different reverberations, how, how long that delay is, or when you shout into a canyon, you know, you can use kind of your normal senses to, to uh, get this. And as you see me dialed in, you'll at least see what I am trying to go for. So I'm gonna keep that in the middle. Uh, I want one and a half repeats. I'm gonna go to the middle on that. Do you hear that? So how many repeats is that? So one, one, two, three, four, five, four and a half. We want one and a half. 
about three and a half. A little more. So that is about one and a half if you hear that there. But the mix is totally off. The, the, the delay repeat is too loud. We want it more subtle. Now I'm also, the delay time, if I bring it this way, takes much longer after I strike a note for it to repeat. If I go this way, it's instantaneous, right? So. So that's about a decent starting point. And I'm using my ear. I'm not using my knowledge of the knobs of the pedal. So, so I'll just try some blues licks and you'll hear that breathiness, that roundness brings it to life a bit. You hear that? Doesn't sound like a, you know, like the Guns N' Roses. It doesn't sound like the U2 The Edge either. It's functioning more similar to what a reverb would do. You hear that? Add reverb. I have a reverb pedal here. Add that to it. Now let's hear it completely dry. Now with the delay again. with a clean sound and it's still got that reverbness to it. So that's a basic concept. Uh, you can use it with the concept itself, one and a half repeats, the sense of how far away or how big of a chamber you're in for it to echo back. Um, and it really adds a lot. Uh, it, it, it adds a lot of life to, to, the, uh, to the notes. So I recommend you give it a try. And like I said, you can use any cheap delay pedal to use this concept. So I hope it helped. Also, let me know in the comments below any other gear you'd like to see me cover. Uh, I've been, you know, had some requests for some more affordable gear, so I'm doing that. Uh, I've got a lot of other cool uh, gear coming your way. I can't wait to share with you here at Marty Music. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you later. i